3 i Atlas was discovered on July 1st by the NASA-funded Atlas Survey. Something is fundamentally wrong with the latest visitor to our solar system. It's called 3 i Atlas, and new data from four telescopes just confirmed our worst suspicions. It's not a comet. At least, not any kind of comet we understand. Comet, asteroid, or something else. A Harvard astrophysicist believes there's a strong likelihood this is a craft of alien origin, and the implications, obviously, for humanity would be profound. This interstellar traveler is a true monster, potentially as large as 28 miles across and millions of times more massive than other interstellar objects we've seen. 3i Atlas, so it's a rare opportunity, and uh, as a scientific community, we want to collect as many data as possible to, uh, to characterize this object and learn as much as we can. It's spewing out gases that rewrite the rules of chemistry and contains metals forged in the heart of a dead star. You see, this isn't just a discovery. It's a cosmic anomaly that was hiding in plain sight. The anomaly in our backyard. The story of astronomy is filled with moments that change our perspective forever. But not all things are what they seem. And every now and then, something comes along that doesn't just change the story. It rips the book to shreds. We are living in one of those moments right now. An object named 3i Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar visitor, has been put under the microscope by four of the most advanced telescopes ever built. The verdict is in, and it's a seismic shock to science. The data confirms 3i Atlas is not what we believed. In fact, it might not be a comet at all, but something far stranger, a relic from a corner of the universe so different from ours, it defies explanation. Many people are crazy about space, but the things nobody tells you are in the details, the numbers that just don't add up. And with 3i Atlas, none of the numbers add up. The first jaw-dropping reveal came from NASA's SphereX mission, which was tasked with a simple job, figure out how big this thing is. Initial estimates were already impressive, but the real size was beyond belief. SphereX's deep observations returned a number that sent chills down spines. The nucleus of 3i Atlas could be up to 46 kilometers, or about 28 miles, in diameter. To put that in perspective, that is 10 times bigger than early guesses, and makes the object millions of times more massive than our first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua. An object of this colossal scale, a true monster from the void, raises an urgent question. How did something so enormous stay hidden for so long? Astronomers are now scrambling for answers, suggesting its unique structure or alien chemistry might mask its brightness, meaning there could be other, even bigger objects out there that we simply can't see but its unbelievable size is just the beginning of the mystery. The real WTF moment came when the James Webb Space Telescope pointed its near-infrared spectrograph at the fuzzy cloud of gas surrounding the object, known as its coma. In a normal comet from our solar system, this cloud is overwhelmingly made of water vapor. But 3i Atlas is not a normal comet. Webb found its coma is saturated with carbon dioxide, the ratio of carbon dioxide to water was a stunning 8 to 1, the highest ever measured in any comet period. This isn't just a small difference, it's a fundamental chemical anomaly. It's like finding a creature on Earth that breathes sulfur instead of oxygen. This chemistry tells us that 3i Atlas was born in a place viciously different from our own solar system, a stellar nursery, where water was scarce or blasted away by intense radiation, leaving only heavier, stranger ices behind. All our models for how comets and other star systems should form have been thrown out the window. What's even weirder is what the object is made of. Fingerprints of an alien system. Before it became the solar system's biggest enigma, 3i Atlas was just a faint smudge of light. It was first detected by the Atlas Survey in Chile, a robotic system designed to scan the sky for asteroids that might pose a threat to Earth. At first, it looked like a fairly standard, if rare, discovery a comet from interstellar space, following a path that would briefly bring it through our neighborhood before flinging it back out into the void. Scientists were excited, of course. Any chance to study material from another star system is a gift. But they assumed it would fit the patterns they had seen before with the two previous interstellar visitors. They believed it was a chunk of rock and ice, a familiar building block of planets, just from a different construction site. 
But the moment our best telescopes got a closer look, that simple picture fell apart. The Hubble Space Telescope, our old reliable eye in the sky, captured stunningly detailed images of the object's core. What it saw was confusing. The nucleus didn't have a clear defined shape. It was complex and irregular, with size estimates ranging wildly from 320 meters to over five kilometers. This suggested a lumpy, oddly shaped body. Even stranger was the activity. Comets are famous for their jets, powerful plumes of gas and dust that erupt from the surface as they warm up near the sun. Hubble looked for these jets, expecting to see streams of water vapor or carbon monoxide. It found almost nothing. Instead, it detected a strange, asymmetric outgassing pattern, a lopsided glow that suggested the activity was being driven by a mechanism fundamentally different from any comet we have ever studied. Next, astronomers aimed one of Earth's most powerful eyes at the visitor, the Very Large Telescope in Chile. Its mission was a cosmic interrogation to get the object's chemical fingerprint and force it to reveal its secrets. Using powerful instruments to split the faint light from the comet into a rainbow of colors, scientists began to read its composition line by line. At first, everything seemed normal, almost disappointingly so. The instruments quickly detected cyanide, a common molecule found in countless comets from our own solar system. It was behaving exactly as expected, a predictable visitor from the void. But then, buried deep within the data, something impossible appeared, a signature that had no business being there, nickel. You see, nickel is a metal, something forged in the unimaginable heat and pressure of a star's fiery heart. Finding it mixed in with the pristine ice of a comet is like finding a perfectly machined steel bolt inside a natural glacier. It's a paradox of fire and ice that just shouldn't exist. This bombshell discovery completely changed the game. 3i Atlas wasn't just a leftover piece of a new solar system. It was confirmed to be shrapnel from an ancient, long-dead star, likely obliterated in a supernova explosion. This stunning revelation allowed scientists to calculate its true age, and the number is staggering. The journey of 3i Atlas has lasted for over 7 billion years. It's an ancient time capsule, a ghost from a cosmos that existed long before our own sun was even a flicker. It carries the literal building blocks of lost worlds we will never see, a messenger from a universe of fire. But how could four different telescopes tell such a unified, shocking story? The power of a coordinated hunt. You see, the reason this new information is so powerful is that it isn't from one source. This was a coordinated global effort with four of the best observatories we have all pointing at the same target, each designed to answer a different piece of the puzzle. It's like a detective case where you have four witnesses and each one saw the event from a different angle. When their stories all line up to describe something impossible, you have to believe them. This is what happened with 3 I Atlas. The evidence converges to an undeniable conclusion. This thing is rewriting cosmic science. Let's break down the dream team. First, you have the James Webb Space Telescope, the newcomer with incredible power to see in infrared light. Its job was to be the chemist, to analyze the gases in the coma. Its discovery of the overwhelming carbon dioxide saturation was the first major blow to old theories. It proved, without a doubt, that the object's birthplace was nothing like our own. Next up was the Hubble Space Telescope, the veteran observer. Its role was to be the photographer, capturing the physical details of the nucleus and coma. Its images revealed the irregular shape and, crucially, the lack of traditional cometary jets, showing us that the object doesn't behave like a comet. Then came the ground-based powerhouse, the Very Large Telescope in Chile, whose job was to perform a cosmic autopsy. Using spectroscopy, which is like a chemical fingerprint reader for starlight, it analyzed what 3i Atlas was truly made of. What it found was a bombshell. Buried in the icy cloud was the signature of nickel, a metal forged in the blazing heart of a star. This wasn't just a dirty snowball. This was shrapnel from a supernova, a relic from a star that died billions of years before our own sun was even born. It was proof that this object was a messenger from a bygone, heavy metal-rich era of the universe. But the final, terrifying piece of the puzzle 
came from NASA's SphereX mission. Its job was simple, measure the beast, and its finding was jaw-dropping. SphereX confirmed that 3I Atlas is a 28-mile-wide behemoth, a monster the size of a major city hurtling through our solar system. This wasn't just a weird comet, it was a giant, weird comet. You see, each piece of data, on its own, was strange. But together, they paint a terrifying and undeniable picture. We are being visited by an ancient metallic relic from a dead star system, an object of monstrous size that doesn't behave like anything we've ever encountered. It's an alien in every sense of the word, and it's rewriting everything we thought we knew about our place in the universe. So what does it all mean? Are we missing a key detail here? An emissary from a lost world. So let's talk about what's really going on here in plain language, because the official story is just the tip of the iceberg. For years, we've operated under the assumption that solar systems are all built from the same box of cosmic Legos. But three, iAtlas arriving on our doorstep, isn't just a new piece. It's something from a completely different toy store, and it's forcing us to ask the forbidden questions. Could solar systems be built in completely different ways? Are we missing a key detail about how the universe works? This one object screams that the answer is yes. But let's get crazy for a minute. The data is so strange that it's pushing some scientists to whisper about possibilities that sound like they're straight out of science fiction. What if 3i Atlas isn't a comet at all? Its colossal size, up to 28 miles across, and the presence of nickel have led to a truly wild theory, that this is the shattered core of an ancient, long-dead gas giant. Imagine a planet larger than Jupiter, destroyed in a cosmic cataclysm billions of years ago its metallic heart sent tumbling through the void for eons. That would explain the heavy elements and the sheer mass, making it less of a messenger and more of a tombstone from a murdered solar system. But even that doesn't feel weird enough. The way this thing doesn't produce normal cometary jets, its lopsided, strange glow, what if that isn't natural outgassing at all? What if we're seeing the last gasps of failing ancient technology? The theory that won't go away is that 3i Atlas is a derelict alien vessel. A massive dead ship that went dark millions of years ago, its crew long gone, now silently coasting through our system. Its dark non-reflective surface might not be natural rock, but an artificial hull designed for stealth. It sounds insane, but the data is what's pushing these ideas. An object this big, this weird, and this dark just doesn't fit any natural model we have. This is why its upcoming pass of Mars is so critical. On October 3rd, it will fly within 18.6 million miles of the red planet, and you can bet our orbiters will be scanning it for any hint of structure, any unnatural signals, anything that proves it's more than just a rock. After that, it swings around our sun on October 29th, a close pass that will bake it intensely. Will it break apart like a normal comet? Or will it hold together, proving it's made of something far stronger? This is our only shot to unlock its story before it vanishes forever. If something this massive could sneak up on us, what else is out there? Are there more of these giant dark travelers out there? This isn't just a distant rock. It's a cosmic wake-up call. The secrets of 3i Atlas are just beginning to unfold proving our universe is far stranger than we ever imagined. What other impossible objects are hiding in the dark? Let us know your theories in the comments, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more Cosmic Mysteries.